Hi, this is Daniel Starkey from Computer Academy, and in this tutorial, what we're going to be looking at is how to split your HTML document or web page or whatever you want to call it into two separate columns. So, like a bar on the left and a bar on the right, or like so the like you can have a navigation bar on the left and then all your site content on the right. So, first, what you want to do is give it a container or just I'm going to call mine main. Actually, no, I'll rename that to container. And then div ID and give it an ID of left. And close that div. Duplicate that line or copy and paste it or just write it out again. Change the ID to right. So if you. And so go into our styles.css and I've already linked that as you can see. Um, I've already set the margin to zero so everything's automatically pushed right up to the edge. And I'll give that a font family of Sejo UI. Right, so now what we want to do is container and set a width of 900 pixels, margin left, auto, duplicate the line, and margin right auto. Um, so in this, I was just going to write Lauren Ipsum, um, and in this one, hello world, and then smiley face, because we can. And as you can see, that's on two separate lines. Um, that's, sorry about that. And if we set the container left. Set, give that a width of 300 pixels because maybe you want that for a navigation menu on the left so it's on the side instead of at the top and we'll float left and refresh and there you go but that's not going all the way across to the right because no way is oh sorry that Lauren Ipsum to the end of Hello World, that is not 900 pixels. I can tell that just by looking at it, but I also know why. So now what we want to do is go to um, select, make a selector, container, right, right, and give that a width of 600 pixels and float right. Um, did I save that? Yeah, container right. Or am I just being impatient? Maybe I'm not. Oh, okay. Div ID right, left. Nothing wrong with that. Change that to 500. Um, oh, okay. About 600. Um, oh, I know why. It's because if we give this a background colour of pink and this a background colour of green. you can see it actually does go all the way across and that's actually perfect, it's much better than I was just getting my navigations and whatever confused it's because of all the code I write and there you go that, that's, if we both give them, uh, actually if we just give the container a height of 100% as you can see okay maybe not <laughs> um, uh, if we just put it in all of them. Yeah, no, no. What am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah, yeah. Looks right. Um, high, hundred percent. Okay. Not hundred percent. Um, maybe that needs to be a hundred percent. I do not know. We'll get there eventually. Yay, yay. So maybe we don't need it there, do we? Or don't we? Yeah, no, we don't need it there. And what about in the body? It's just really trial and error. 
because with these tutorials I actually just make them up as I'm going along I just I'll say to myself or well in my head oh well we'll do this tutorial on columns and so then I'll just generate a code in my head basically and then type it out as soon as it comes into my head so yeah there you go it's split into two columns and if you want to just give mate well obviously you don't want to set the background color to well you might not want to do that anyway I know I wouldn't but if we if they both have the same background color F3, F3, terminate, and you might just want to drop this down to 299 and then give it a border right of 1 pick solid pound um, 20, 20, 20. Save that and refresh, and there you go. You can see it's still split into two columns, and obviously, you can put this into paragraphs or whatever you want to do. Um, I'll put that in capitals. Sorry, I don't like doing that. I like all mine organised. Um, so yeah, just to play around with it. Put whatever you like in. So yeah, I hope this helped. Thanks for watching. Bye.